Now for this demonstration, we're going to see how to use Select Object to create calculated properties. And specifically, we'll modify the output of the command get process. And we'll also show the virtual memory and the pageable memory in megabytes. So let's begin by running the commandlet get process pipe more. And this displays a list of all the processes, including information about virtual memory, shown in megabytes, and pageable memory, shown here in kilobytes. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is use select object to shorten the number of processes returned and to display only the name, virtual memory, and pageable memory. And we can do this by typing get process, pipe select object, property name, vm, pm, first 10. Next, we'll replace this VM memory with a new name and a calculated value. And we'll do this by typing get process, pipe select object, property name, at symbol, curly brace, name equal, in quotation marks, virtual memory, paren MB, end paren, end quotation mark, semicolon, E equals curly brace, dollar sign, PS item, dot VM, forward slash, 1MB, and curly brace and curly brace PM first 10 that's a mouthful notice that we use the at sign to indicate there is a key value pair which is enclosed in curly braces the name of the new property is virtual memory the value of this property E is the original value divided by 1 megabyte now, Windows PowerShell understands abbreviations like KB, MB, GB, TB, and PB as representing the base two values, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, and petabyte, respectively. And notice that this key value pair is separated by a semicolon. And running this command shows the new title and value. Now, let's go ahead and clean up this display just a little bit. To format the VM values to just two decimal places, we'll add curly brace 0 colon N2 and curly brace and the F formatting parameter inside the calculated expression. And we'll do this by typing get process, pipe select object, property name, at symbol curly brace name equals virtual memory MB and curly brace semicolon E equals curly brace single quote curly brace 0 colon N2 and curly brace single quotation F paren dollar sign PS item dot VM forward slash 1 MB and paren and curly brace and curly brace <laughs> PM first 10 and notice here the additional parentheses after the F parameter and around the calculated value and so the output shown here in the display has the virtual memory in megabytes with just two decimal places now similarly, we can repeat the process above and change the name and value of the PM property. And we'll use the command above, but just after virtual memory, we'll type E equals curly brace, single quote, curly brace 0, colon, N2, and curly brace, and single quote, F paren, dollar sign PS item dot VM forward slash 1MB, N paren, N curly brace, N curly brace, at, curly brace name equals pageable memory MB and quotes semicolon E equals curly brace single quote curly brace zero colon N2 and curly brace and single quote F paren dollar sign PS item dot PM forward slash 1 MB and paren and curly brace and curly brace first 10 and notice here the new name pageable memory and the formatting and calculation of the new value. So now we can create a new property. It's known as total memory that sums up the virtual memory and the pageable memory. And instead of typing a very, very long string, I'm going to go ahead and display it here. Now you'll see or notice that this command, it actually can't sum the calculated values we created. Those values exist as they are used. To use the value, we would have to create a variable and store the data. So from this demonstration, we've seen how to use select object to create calculated properties.